Beat Makers The Squad, what's good, it's your boy Cheese. Today, we're going through a tutorial and instead of looking at Beat Maker 2 or even Beat Maker 3, we're actually gonna look at Core Gadget. Before we get into this, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Beat Makers The Squad on YouTube. I've been getting into Core Gadget quite a bit lately and been using it very heavily. Reason being uh, because I got the new iPad Pro and it's a little too big to take out like on the train and stuff like that. I just don't want that type of attention joining me. So I've been using Gadget quite a bit. Um, and I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. Um, so today, what I decided to do was take you through how to craft your own 808 in Core Gadget. Because the sense in Core Gadget, they have some really good presets, but what I think a lot of people overlook is the fact that you can create your own presets as well. So what I'm gonna do today is walk you through how to create an 808, how to save your own presets, and even how to share your own presets, as I will be sharing this preset that I'm creating today with you. So uh, with that being the case, let's get into it. So this is an 808 that I call it's pocket 808. I call it that because this is actually a screen recorder straight from my phone. Um, and basically, you know, I'll make my own sounds in Beatmaker 3, but I also make my own sounds in Core Gadget because the synths in Core Gadget are really, really dope. Uh, so what you can actually do with yourself is you can make an 808 so you always have one. So uh, this, 808 that I made, um, basically, let's take a look at the patch bay first. So you'll see in the patch bay, I have the envelope generator uh, connected to the pitch. And what that's doing is it's giving um, each note kind of like a little click. Um, so you can hear it like, it's like kind of a tiny click at the, at the beginning. And when you do that, what, you have to, uh, what I do is I turn the amount all the way up. And I turn the sustain, the attack, decay, sustain, and release all should be at zero. So basically, it's making the pitch go up really fast, but um, it's 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 not it's not holding on to that pitch. Now watch if I turn the uh, the attack up. Watch what happens to the sound. So it so the quicker you allow it to do it quicker to have a punch but uh so let's go back to the synth engine it was seen on vco one i have a triangle uh i'm sorry i have yeah triangle uh wave and on vco2 i have the uh, square wave all right and then after that if you look at the mixer i have them both turned up because that's just where i like it and uh also have uh the filter set to about 12 o'clock and a little bit of peak on there, so it's about 10 o'clock. And I have the keyboard amount turned down to zero because what the keyboard amount does is wherever you are on the keyboard, it will basically um, kind of like emulate that with the uh, with the cutoff. So the lower you are on the keyboard, like, like as far as pitch wise, the lower the cutoff will be at. And I don't want that to be the case. I want it to always pretty much have the same, but you know, you can do that, turn it on if you want to. Now, if you go over to the um, amp, the uh, the amp envelope, you'll see I have the attack set all the way down to nothing. The sustain is set down to nothing as well, which is actually weird. I usually would keep that up, but it works this time. Um, the decay, I have it at about 11 o'clock or a little bit more than four. Uh, and then the release, I have it just a little up under 12 o'clock. So it, so it allows you to get that tail on an 808. Now what I also have on here is I have the legato turned on so that way I can get that those uh, glides in there if I want to. Um, but to get the glides you have to like 
press one note and hold it while you press the second note like this. But you kind of got to do it quick. So maybe if I turn the sustain up, that'll actually help with that. Yeah, I actually just solved that problem right here. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate y'all. See, for I wouldn't even uh, solve that. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, also look at the portamento. I have the portamento turned on as well, and the portamento allows the, uh, let's say I'm playing a B flat, which I'm playing right now, and then I go to the D flat. You hear when it goes from B flat to D flat, it just, it stretches a note from B flat to D flat. And so the, um, if you have it set to about three, it does, does it quicker, but if I was to bring it all the way up to here, like you'll listen. So it, the pitch is coming up a lot uh, slower, okay? Uh, then if we go over to the master section, add the volume up fairly high. Ain't gonna lie, I do. I don't care. <laughs> it sounds good. I have the drive also turned up, so um, that way I still have a bottom to it, and then it has a, um, a little bit of gain on top, uh, so, so you can hear it in small speakers. And then the tone I have on the uh, on the overdrive down, you know, kind of low, so it's not too bright, uh, but you know, bright enough. But like, let's just hear it if you turn it up. What happens? Yeah, with that you can really hear the click. Um, so I'll bring it up now to about 12 o'clock. See what it sounds like this. Bring it back down to about to the three. Bring it down to about one. So it all, the tone, you know, just adds a different character to it each time and allows you to like shape your sounds and design your sounds even you know to a different degree so uh yeah i hope this is helpful um so hopefully some of you guys can get a pocket 808 going out there as a matter of fact what i'll do is i'm gonna see if i can share this patch and i'll put it a link to it in the description below all right so to get the free file what you're gonna do is go on over to beatmakersthesquad.com and click on tutorials And once you get to this page, just scroll to the bottom until you see the gadget tutorials link. Inside of here, you'll see the first tutorial, which is designing 808s and cool gadgets, which is what you're watching right now. But then at the bottom, you'll see it says free gadget 808. Click that and download it. Now it's going to be a zip file, so you have, so you'll need to uncompress it once you uh, download it. Afterwards, you're going to have to use iFunbox in order to access the app file sharing for Gadget. I don't know of any other way to do this. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. Then what you're going to do is simply drag and drop the folder right into your core Gadget app file sharing database. Then open up Core Gadget on your device and you'll see Free 808 should be in there. Check it out. Now what I just did was I moved this from my phone to my iPad. After that, tap the name of the preset and tap save and you're all done. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Remember, you can go to beatmakersthesquad.com and download your free Beatmaker 3 sound kit. You can also download the Pyrosonics Volume 1 Beatmaker 3 sound kit. And you can also check out various tutorials on Beatmaker 2, Beatmaker 3, and now more gadgets. So this is your boy Cheese, and I'm signing off from BeatmakerTheSquad.com. Peace.